Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a day in the life of a writer, but it is a travel edition. Again, I am going to be going to South Florida to visit my family, but I am going to be writing and I do want to document my entire journey because I am on deadline. I have to finish my next release because I want to release it in March. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but it's something I really wanna do. But in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to share with you guys what I pack when I travel as far as my gear is concerned, as far as my writing and journaling and vlogging because I do want to vlog the entire journey while I'm there and I do want to write and I still want to create because, you know, I am going to be with my family during the day, but then at night we're going to be in the hotel and that's usually like the downtime and I'm going to take that time to get that novel finished. So without further ado, let's get started on the packing and I want to show you all the things I'm bringing along with me, especially when I travel like this. So before I started packing, I made my list of all the things I wanted to bring so I didn't forget anything. So the very first thing I grabbed was my iPad, my iPad pen, my watch, my laptop, and the charger. Then I grabbed my journals my affirmation cards and my oracle cards my highlighters a pen and a pencil and then i moved on to my camera gear this is my phone my sd card and my charger for my camera and my stand some post-it notes and then my bag that i got at bonds or noble to pack everything in it and this is pretty much everything as far as my gear is concerned and now um now that I laid it all out, I knew exactly what I needed to take with me, and then I started packing. This did change a little bit. I started to put everything in this bag that I got from Barnes & Noble, but it wasn't working out, and I didn't feel like my laptop and my iPad were safe in here, so I did grab my the bag that I have for my laptop, and in there I did put my laptop and my iPad and my husband's iPad also. Or not his iPad, but his tablet. This was our hotel. We had a pretty nice view though, you know, it had a nice lake view and other hotels and the window was dirty, so sorry about that. I couldn't really tell that when I was recording. And as usual, I'm doing my morning routine. What I'm doing right now is shuffling my affirmation cards and selecting a card not only for myself, but for my audience on Instagram. If you want to get a message from me and you like this method of receiving messages, then make sure you are following me on Instagram. What I'm doing now is just going through my bullet journal and filling out all the tracker stuff that I am tracking throughout the month. This is working out really good for me. If you guys are wanting to track your uh, your mood or you know something in your life, I highly recommend this method of keeping track. And then this was breakfast. There was a Starbucks in the hotel where we stayed, but they didn't have the normal food. They only had that sausage and eggs, and I guess it was okay. And now it was time to head to the beach where I did all my writing. You guys, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but I was raised in Florida, specifically this right here, which is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this right here that we're going on is called the 17th Street Causeway uh, Bridge. And as usual, I don't think I've ever gone over this bridge that I didn't have to stop because, you know, the bridge was um, up because there was a huge boat going by or a tall boat going by that they needed to raise the bridge for. So it's pretty awesome. I haven't been to the beach in a long time because I'm living in Georgia now and I loved it. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. It wasn't that hot. And obviously it was like 80 something in February. So, you know, <laughs> it might be hot to some, but for me, it was awesome. It's been so cold. It has been so cold here in Georgia that I could not wait to get away. And I don't know, we just had a really, really nice time. And I just love being there. If you guys do not know this, all my novels are pretty much 
either based in Florida or have a beach theme. And that is because that is my, that was my life. That's where I live. That's what I've known. And I don't know. I just, I always get inspired by those types of topics. So my novel falling for you and the one that I'm writing right now, which is actually going to be out hopefully this year is beach themed, but instead of being in Florida, it's in Hawaii. So I cannot wait to put that out. I am so excited. But there is another thing I wanted to say at the beginning of the, um, the video, I said that I was editing my novel and that is not actually what I'm doing right now. I am actually working on my nonfiction that I wanted to release in March. Again, don't know if that's going to happen. But that's basically what I'm doing right now. And now we are entering the part of the beach where you can just park your car and just hang out. This is actually where I spent most of my childhood. My family, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my parents, my sister, we all used to go to this part of the beach when we were little and barbecue every weekend. It was, you know, just part of what we did. And it was nice to be back and to get to actually write my book here because even though all my books are beach themed, I have never actually written a book at the beach. And I'll share a little bit more about that in a moment because it was actually kind of funny. Then I found the perfect spot for me to sit on and put all my stuff on. And I just settled in and started writing a little bit. There was a nice breeze. And when I was editing this video, I was looking at the background and it almost looks like it's a green screen or something because the palm trees aren't moving, but I assure you it is not a green screen. It was, look at this, like it's beautiful. I loved it, but I will share this about writing at the beach. It is really hard to see your screen. So maybe go when it's not so sunny or maybe go in later on in the evening. I don't know, but it was really, really difficult to see the screen. So even though I had a great time just being there and just, you know, my husband and mine's first date was at this beach. So this beach has a lot of memories for me and I loved being there. But as far as actually writing in the middle of the day when it's really sunny, don't know if that's always the best thing. <laughs> I was pretty happy with the outcome. I was able to edit one entire chapter and that was good enough for my little vacation. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video to my hometown of South Florida and specifically Fort Lauderdale Beach. If you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe on your way out. I will see you guys again in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.